Hey guys, Too Legit City here. Today we're going to be going over a design in the game of Oxygen Not Included. Today we're going to be going over the Gold Volcano Tamer. Our Gold Volcano Tamer looks as so. But to get it started, let's actually watch as the Gold Volcano Tamer goes through a process. Now, of course, our Gold Volcano design, as you can see, it's active right now, is going to be cooled using thermal regulators. We also have two Wii's wards up top, and that's because none of the thermal regulators are actually cooling the steam turbine. It turns out that using two Wii's warts like this is usually enough cooling in between eruption cycles for the Gold Volcano. But that's because of the Gold Volcano is actually the weakest metal volcano out of all the metal volcanoes in the game. That's because the gold that it creates actually has the lowest specific heat capacity out of all the other metals. This means that the metal itself, the gold that holds a lot of the thermal energy, cools down faster compared to the other metals. That means you need to provide less energy compared to the others, and it'll cool down just as fast, if not even more. Now, of course, our design is very simple. As you can see, we went through a process already. All we have is a sweeper made out of steel on the loader, utilizing the rail to run under the steam turbine in a zigzag motion. And then at the end, we do a temperature check with the uh, thermal rail sensor that we set to above 135, where if the temperature is above 135, where it's too hot, we loop it back for a second cool period. And once it gets cold enough, it will leave the system and go through our cold box. Our thermal regulators have hydrogen running in them, and they're actually set to zero degrees. By having them run at zero degrees, and the fact that they run over two radiant pipes over this 2x2 two two of steel metal tiles, this is actually what's cooling the copper once it's leaving the system. Now, the thermal regulators are good enough. I used to have three, and that was overkill, and my gold came out at zero degrees. So I didn't need it to be that cold, so I trimmed it down to two thermal regulators. That being said, 20 kilograms of steam per tile. And let's watch the conveyor rounds. So because the steam is still around 135, it's going to wait till the turbine cools a lot of the metals down fast. So we'll speed that up. And of course, steam is going down below 135 is just going to take a moment before the uh, gold actually cools down as well but once it does you'll see it leave the system and pop out right here the gold that's already gotten out is at 19 degrees that's pretty cool but then as we watch over here you can see that the gold's coming out close to zero this one's coming out close to zero as well on average this should have the gold come out around 15 to 20 degrees celsius by setting it to these values it's just that some of the volumes might be less than 20 kilograms as you can see that one at 20 kilograms is around 10 degrees and it gets a little bit warmer but between eruption periods it has enough time to re-chill the metal tiles and everything works out pretty fast as you could see that was one eruption period the turbine up top will heat up a little bit uh it will average out to around 50 it will heat up above that during the eruption, but after the steam turbine chills down the steam below 125, it's not going to be active anymore, and the Wii's where it's going to be able to cool it down to 50 degrees before the next eruption period actually starts. But guys, you guys could see right here that it does not cost a lot of power. It doesn't really generate a lot of power either, but that's because of the metal not being that great. But of course, you could see that we could actually tame a gold volcano without using an aqua tuner. But of course, guys, that has been the Gold Volcano Tamer design. If you guys have any questions about this, leave a comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.